When it comes to big organizations with a long heritage, particularly schools and educational institutions, change can be a challenge. In this video, we will embark on the journey of a team of educators who designed strategies that we believe will increase the likelihood of changing from the current state of computer science and robotics engineering to the ideal state. Let's get into it. Last school year, I led the Technology, Computer Science, and Robotics Engineering Curriculum Review, or the TCR Review, to help design strategies that will transition learning within TCR from its current state to the ideal state. To help guide my work, I looked to IDEO, a design firm famous for utilizing a creative problem-solving approach called design thinking, and Roger Martin, a strategy advisor who published more than 10 books on leading management. According to Roger Martin, strategy is a set of choices that you can make today in the face of uncertainty in order to increase the likelihood that you will win now and into the future. So here's the process that we took as a team to create strategies with intention, rigor, and creativity. Research and conduct a literature review to identify the ideal state of TCR. Investigate to see what is the current reality for TCR at the school by gathering data. Analyze data to capture the gap between current reality and ideal state. Identify strategies and draft implementation plans to bring TCR to its ideal state. Provide multiple opportunities to elicit feedback and make improvements. Create a final report and presentation of TCR strategies to share to stakeholders. Our goal was not to only create strategies to help TCR get to its ideal state, but to also inspire confidence and action. What is the ideal state for TCR in terms of philosophy, desired outcomes, desired pedagogical approaches, and curriculum standards? Part of our work as a TCR core team was to identify what it means to win in our education context. Specifically, what is the ideal state? And then what are the strategies, the set of choices we need to transition us from our current state to the ideal state? Through our research and examining literature of high quality computer science and robotics engineering learning experiences, we found two themes. One was that high quality TCR learning involves authentic contexts, where students apply TCR knowledge and skills and computational thinking practices to solve real world problems and challenges. And the other theme was interdisciplinary learning, TCR subject areas are authentically integrated with other subject areas. As a team, we also had a session to brainstorm what the ideal state of TCR would look like, making sure to hear their opinions and ideas to encourage engagement and enable better decision making through the collective wisdom and diverse expertise of the group. The ideas we collected as a team aligned with the themes we found in the research we conducted. These themes immediately led us to the STEM approach because of its inherent connection to interdisciplinary real-world learning application. The STEM approach focuses on the integration and application of knowledge and skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to tackle complex, authentic challenges found in STEM fields. Based on the literature and our research, we created a definition for the STEM approach at our school, gathered and synthesized a list of characteristics of what STEM learning would look like in our school, and then a framework that would help us to implement the STEM approach at our school. We also used the definition and the list of STEM characteristics to design a computer science philosophy statement and a robotics engineering philosophy statement that would help guide the work we will be doing in our decision making for those specific disciplines and went through the process of choosing content standards for computer science and robotics engineering. Now that we had an approach to high quality TCR learning, we now needed to find a teaching method TCR teachers can use to design and implement these learning experiences. In the majority of the literature we took a look at, it stated project-based learning or problem-based learning was the recommended method educators can use to create high quality STEM learning experiences. As a team, we also took a look at some examples of educators using the method to create STEM experiences and other examples of schools improving their students' outcome through rigorous project-based learning. Even one efficacy study showed that PBL raised AP test scores for all high school students, including those in traditionally underserved demographics. All this was done to create a foundation to help bring understanding to what is the ideal state of TCR. With identifying the ideal state done, we now had to identify our current state of TCR at our school. 
The TCR Core review team developed faculty, student, and parent community surveys, focus group sessions, and through our examination of our current curriculum and scope and sequence, we were able to capture current realities by analyzing and synthesizing data through the lens of STEM and examining the gap between current reality and the ideal state. With this data, we did the fun part, be creative and brainstorm different strategies using divergent thinking to help move TCR to the ideal state. We began with an inclusion activity to help members of the team to practice thinking big and thinking beyond the obvious, a modification of an activity created by Minkowski.org. We wanted the group to get into moonshot thinking based on aspirations for creating a different future. It's a mindset where when you aim for 10x gain, you lean instead on bravery and creativity, the kind that literally and metaphorically can put a man on the moon. With their moonshot thinking hats on, they brainstormed different strategies, sets of choices that would help increase the likelihood of achieving the ideal state of high quality STEM learning. The brainstorming sessions were based on the key focus questions based on the data we collected, curricular and co-curricular opportunities, supporting systems, TCR learning outcomes, and increase in DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now it was time for convergent thinking. We asked the following questions to help the team analyze, filter, evaluate, clarify, and modify any ideas to get closer to a potential strategy that could be recommended for the review. Will this idea or strategy lead to improvement in our current TCR program through our STEM approach lens? Does it directly address the question or problem to be solved? Does this strategy bring us to our ideal state, the STEM approach, or move us in that direction? What other information, data, evidence, documentation do we need to support the strategy? What do we already know or have? This process helped us to sift through the ideas and identify which ideas or strategies were ideal for implementation. I use this conversion thinking session to help the team identify what design thinkers call the sweet spot. Is the strategy that we came up desirable, feasible, and viable? Would stakeholders agree to the strategy and have buy-in for implementation? Would the strategy be possible, something that could be done? And finally, will the strategy survive? Conversion thinking helped our team think in terms of sustainable long-term growth and success. Once we identified a list of key strategies, the core review team started to map out what implementation would look like for each strategy using the STEM framework we designed earlier. First, they started by identifying the impact of implementing each of the strategies. They then thought about what were the action steps that needed to be done? When is the start date and the deadline? Who is responsible for making sure the strategy is implemented? What resources are needed? And what potential barriers will work groups need to overcome? We had multiple opportunities for feedback from different stakeholders, including the senior executive team and the superintendent and the deputy superintendent. I took the feedback and made modifications to the strategies and draft implementation plans, and then took it back to the core team where they provided more feedback to seek clarification and make additional improvements. After additional feedback sessions, it was time for me to write the report that summarized our review process, make sense of the information we gathered, and finalize our strategies, which we shared with the school community. In addition, we designed a presentation for the school board to help communicate our strategies through storytelling to show the stakeholders the actions that we would make and the impact they would lead to through imagery and quotes, an opportunity to help bring them to life. Two things that I think were beneficial when leading this review was organization and communication. Really, my role was to facilitate the process and really set the tone for intentionality and creativity, but also be organized, setting clear objectives, creating a structured framework and process, managing resources and synthesizing information, a lot of information. Additionally, clear communication through meetings, emails, slide decks, and graphics ensured that expectations, goals, and feedback were conveyed to all stakeholders stakeholders, promoting transparency and understanding. Detailed communication enabled analysis, facilitated discussions, and enabled the identification of actionable insights and improvements. I hope this video helped you see how creating strategies involves intention, rigor, and creativity. 
I hope to create another video next year that showcases the journey in implementing these strategies and really highlight the idea that IDEO and Roger Martin shared about strategy being a living and breathing thing where we should keep a mindful eye on it, invest in it, measure and iterate on it as needed. The implementation process will involve us building capabilities and systems in place to support the strategies. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to the core TCR team, as well as Amy Guile and Jason Cohn for their guidance in the whole review process.